Okay, I want to do another one. So we are going to maybe come here to... Am I not close enough? There we go. Polk Street. Conrad, I moved my family into our new house six months ago. Since then, they claim to have experienced strange things they cannot explain. Seems like they are growing in the belief that our home is haunted. I personally have never experienced anything that makes me believe in ghosts, but my wife and kids have a laundry list of things they feel are paranormal. My wife says she's heard sounds of crying in the living room, someone talking to themselves in the laundry area, and footsteps throughout the house. She's also claimed to have seen a person's shadow creeping along the hallway. My youngest child's bedroom is adjacent to the bathroom. We recently, he's woken up several times in the middle of the night saying a boy is in his room, scaring him. He's also mentioned he's seen an elderly man lingering in the kitchen. Dang, everywhere. I think we got him all. <laughs> Personally, I don't believe this is being caused by spirits. When something falls off the shelf in my garage, there's another one. His garage is another one. Maybe I should get rid of the footsteps. Let's clear this list. How do I clear the list? There we go. That's what I want. Clear the list. Go back to the inbox. Because the footsteps throughout will probably hear it uh, regardless. There we go. So crying in the living room. Talking to themselves in the laundry. Footsteps throughout. We're going to skip that one. Creeping along the hallway. In his room. In the kitchen. Something in his garage, or I feel a sudden change of temperature, I chalk things up to more rational explanations. Regardless, I would like to resolve this issue for my family. I know it would mean a lot to them. Let me know when you are available to check out our home. So he is like, mm, I don't know that I believe in this, but my family is spooked. Can you please put our minds at ease? We can certainly do that. But it sounds like you have a lot of activity going on. Um, where are we headed? We did Evergreen Lane. There it is. Did I zoom out? I didn't mean to do that. Still trying to get these controls right. There we go. Yes, let's do this. The Lorenz have a bit of contrast within their family about their home being haunted. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that Max is not convinced, yet the rest of his family is concerned. He also didn't provide any information stating he debunked their concerns. Sometimes skeptics just want to dispute everything. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. One hopes. So we have our flashlight. We have our notes. Everything. Let's start in the living room. Crying in the living room. So maybe we'll get some good audio. We're now in the living room. Okay. I believe that creek was me. Let's go ahead and close this door. Anybody here? That was not me. But he didn't catch anything. All right. What are we catching in the kitchen? An elderly man in the kitchen. Let's try the thermometer read. So far, I thought I heard something. So far, normal. Let me try the EMF reader if I can find the right one. Oh, this is going to go off because there's a ton of electronics. Ooh. In this room. So, what was that? That's probably the TV, maybe? It's an old phone. Hmm. 
And then the problem is there's electronics in this room. You caught something initially, but so far, I believe this is the kitchen. Is that catching the outlet? That's weird. The stove, maybe? Probably the stove? Or the microwave? It's probably normal. I'm getting nothing. The house is silent. Where's the temperature read? There we go. Oh, something weird at the stove? Or normal? Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. No, he says those are normal. Man, what if we investigate a house and find nothing? It's like, no, your house is fine. Alright. Moving on to the garage. There's not much out here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this door open. Try some temperature readings. A lovely 72 degrees. Yeah, your house is perfect. <laughs> I found nothing here. All right. No abnormal temperatures. You have a light outside, maybe? Yeah, it's going off with the light. Okay. Your house is great. Your house is fine. Alright, so kitchen, no. Living room, no. We can do laundry. We did the garage. Laundry and bedroom. And then hallway, but... You know. I don't know what specific hallway they mentioned. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Maybe. Maybe if the buttons work. Ooh. Okay. We dropped all of a sudden here. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. So, he's like, yeah, it's fine. They didn't say I needed to go down into the basement. Was there something in the bathroom? I don't think they said anything about the bathroom. Is this the boys' bedroom? Seems fine. It's a light switch. Ooh, what? What the f What? It was there and then it's gone. That's not normal. If it was a solid electrical source, it wouldn't just vanish. We might- oh! No, that's an outlet. That's that outlet. And your Xbox. We had something for a sp ooh, split second. What? I think that's the outlet again. I'm too close to that outlet. Okay. Take this out again. Just in case. Let's 
try communicating. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I didn't expect a response, but let's try one more. I think it might help just to try. Do you know why I'm here? I don't know how this game works as far as I know it's it's a slow burn and the more evidence you find. I have problems backing out of this. There we go. Um, the more stuff happens. All right. We had something unusual, but it's gone now. And I believe that's this outlet or something on the other side of this wall. All right. <gasps> that was too late. That was too late. Is this your home? That was a whisper. Is this your home? All right, so we got the hallway. Living room, we didn't find the laundry room yet. So we gotta find the laundry room. We gotta find the laundry room. This is the hallway. But I'm gonna walk around with this. This is another bedroom. I assumed that was the boy's bedroom. But this could also be a boy's bedroom. Ooh, all right, this is the older kid's bedroom. Where are you going off at? Does he have electronics under there? <laughs> could be something downstairs, I guess. Ooh. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. You are getting weird readings? Stopped again. What? What are you clicking at? Can't see. Let me try it from the other way. It's just a closet. Okay, it's fine. This is the parents' bedroom. So, pr oh, probably not too much. What did you bleep at? That, maybe? Probably not too much activity in here. What the? What? Ooh. I'm sorry. Do you want me to leave is not a question. Do you like the current family living here? He told me to get out. Do you like the current family living here? It doesn't like me being here. Do you know why I'm here? Okay. Do you know why I'm here? I don't want to disturb you. I thought it, those are footsteps. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Where's my... <laughs> oh, we're back in the living room. Where's the laundry room? I didn't, oh, is the laundry room downstairs? I don't want to go downstairs. I don't want to. Can the laundry room be here? Can that be a thing? I'm going to, I want to get these EMF readings. That was weird. I don't want to go in the basement. Ugh, 
Why? Why are doors such a problem? Ooh. The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Ooh, that's weird. It went down, and then it went back up. All of a sudden. The floor just creaked. And it wasn't me. He didn't get it. If you're not fast enough, and I have problems with these controls. Anyone? Why are basements so creepy? <laughs> what the hell's that? You're not- Is that just wind? What the hell? Did the air conditioning kick in? What happened? Alright, I'm going upstairs. Ooh. It's fluctuating again. And then it quit. I can try the base- the garage one more time. Oh, it goes- it dips down and then it comes right back up. Alright, I was gonna go to the garage. I'm gonna do one more circle. The fact that I'm... Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. The fact that I'm not getting much is actually freaking me out more because I'm just, like, waiting for something to happen. Like, I know it's coming. Where is it? And the fact that it's such a small window to see... I want to try the garage again. And like every little shadow that pops out at me freaks me out. Every little shadow in the corner of your eye. Ooh, did it drop? No, it went back. No, this seems normal. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Yeah. But the basement was weird. We're going to try here one more time. So they seemed eager to talk to us in the hallway. We were getting temperature readings in the basement. I may just have to go back and circle the basement again. I'm gonna leave that door open. You're welcome to close it if you would like. Yeah, it looks like we're only getting Temperature fluctuations. But it didn't like us poking around the bedrooms. I got nothing. Ooh. Oh, it dipped and went. Oh, 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 Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Alright. Now we just need some audio. I think we need some more audio. I 
It almost seemed like whatever was out here, I was following it. <gasps> Maybe it's just wind chimes outside? I'll keep that as audio evidence. Yeah, I heard wind chimes. I've obtained two pieces of audio evidence that cannot be explained. I'm convinced there's paranormal activity with the data and the EMF, but not the audio. And I've got no pictures. And I've seen nothing. Serious? Conrad. You weren't moving. <laughs> you want to play the piano for me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? so quiet. We got the best audio poking around the bedrooms. If I just go slow, stay in the hallway. I think I'm hearing things. Yeah, he didn't register me. He's hearing something. Like, the most we heard from them was poking around here. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Yeah, what was that? I wasn't even certain I heard anything. Like, sometimes you... Like, I have headphones in, and sometimes there's something really faint and you're like is there something or am I hearing things like, I hear footsteps right now why is Conrad not registering that someone's walking around and he's not I'm going back into the parents room they did not like us being here last time. Oh, I think I heard a clock ticking. I don't think that was anything. That was a very unusual noise. Okay. I'll keep that as evidence. All right. He thought that was strange. I'm hearing wind chimes again. Conrad didn't. Back out here, you want to throw something on the ground for me? We've got nothing in this garage. Anything? 
anything. I mean, we've, we've had, weren't told anything about the backyard, but yeah. This has been a very quiet investigation compared to the last one. And I'm closing the garage door. Giving up on the garage. Oh, I just saw him. Out of the corner of my eye. And he just ran. It was a little kid. It was a little kid. Hello? Would you like to say hello? That's not the button. I'll keep that as audio evidence. You heard something, huh? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I don't think they're going to talk to Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? They seem shy. Can you tell me your name? Which, if I was a little kid, I'd be shy too. Can you tell me your name? Why are you here? Why are you here? Yeah, so I got nothing. Check our notes. I heard breathing. <gasps> that light, Conrad. Wow, that's great audio. It's footsteps. Oh! That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. I don't know if that was knocking or playing with a ball or what that was. Should we try this again? Is this your home? Is this your home? Yeah, <gasps> we're definitely in here. How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? No luck. All right, got the camera out. Does anyone want to say hello? Hello? I don't want to go down in the basement. Like, I really don't. The heck was that? Conrad says there's nothing. Ooh. That was strange. Did you catch it? No, I didn't even hit the button. Those ghost noises. <laughs> Do ghosts even make those noises? I guess they have to for us to have gotten it from somewhere. I hear the wind chimes again. I just think I'm hearing things at this point. I didn't hit the button again.
All right. I'm gonna go down in the basement. Oh. I heard a breath. Like, the last investigation, the ghost showed up so many times, and I just could not get a picture of it. And like, this time, I've got nothing. I've obtained more than three pieces of audio evidence that cannot be explained, so I just need some photos. But I don't think photos are happening tonight. And I think I caught a little boy out of the corner of my eye, but I'm not sure that I did. I heard it again. Like someone talking. Alright. There's the wind chimes. What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Alright, I don't think anyone wants to show themselves or talk to me that's fine his voices again it's crazy check the boys room one more time there's part of me like so wants a ghost to show up and then there's part of me that's like Terrified of a ghost showing up. Alright, I, I got nothing, so um we're gonna call it a wrap. Thank you for letting me into your house. Sorry to disturb you. We definitely got some activity. Just a lot of weird stuff. So we did good on the EMF, we did good on the temperature readings, we did good on the audio recordings, but no photographs. We found a few areas within the location that produced some suspicious readings on devices. The investigator's opinion is that something paranormal normal is going on, but we'll need to spend more time on this case to properly evaluate the location. So. Supposedly, we go back to these locations over time, and we'll find more. Thanks for watching till the end of the video. Consider giving a like or leaving a comment. The YouTube algorithm favors engagement, so doing one or both of those things really helps the channel. There's social media links in the description, and a link to my tip jar if you're interested in helping out that way. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the next one.